Hello Sagittarius viewers, I'm back. As always, if you want a private reading, just email me. My email is right below in the description box, right below this video. So let's see what's going on. Let's see what the cards want to say. We have magic intention, power manifestation. And notice how she's holding, here she is holding the full moon as well. So I kind of take this to mean that this upcoming moon, well, I mean, I think it's a full moon tonight, actually. So I think that that might mean that you guys are manifesting something right now, be it intentionally or unintentionally. Some of you are doing spell work to manifest something. Divine intervention, synchronicity, hesitation, mixed feelings. Choosing their words wisely, planning their approach. Interesting energy here. Trapped, blocked, tied up. Isolation, loneliness, emptiness. Nostalgia. Longing. Hmm. Someone is just lost in their nostalgia. Like, they just feel alone. They feel empty. They feel nostalgic. They're longing for the past. It's like they feel trapped by that. Spying. Okay, I'm actually getting two different stories here. And please, you know, don't try to make it fit if it doesn't resonate. Like, it's it's either your story or it isn't. I just want to put that out there. Like, you know, just don't try to force it to fit. You know what I mean? Like, if this is your story, you'll know it. Um, but there's two different stories. Someone needs to communicate. Someone is afraid. Someone, I'm getting like a lot of anxiety here. Someone has very strong feelings for somebody and they're afraid. They're afraid to communicate. And... So I'm so two different stories here, and I'll just get into the first one really quickly, and then go on to the the main one, the second one. So for some, I feel like this is you, where you're trying to manifest somebody. Like maybe you mess things up with an ex. Maybe you could have cheated on an ex. You could have done something to mess things up. Um, no, not blaming you. I'm just I'm just telling that just you know it might not be you. That might not be for you. Like I said, this is just what's coming through. It's either for you or it isn't. But there are specific messages that I get for specific people watching that. So keep that in mind that even though this is the energy group, there might be specific messages. Like maybe one person in this energy group cheated. That might not, I'm sure that doesn't apply to all of you, but for someone, someone needs to hear that message. Um, but anyway, like I feel like this is someone, it's like you're trying to manifest them behind the scenes is kind of the energy that I'm getting here. It, it's like you're trying to... Like, I feel, I don't know, for someone I feel cheating might have happened. There, there might have been something with cheating I'm feeling for somebody here. But it just feels like you're trying to manifest somebody behind the scenes. Like, either through witchcraft or prayer or intention. I'm just getting a strong need that, like, two people need to talk. Whether you're story one or story two, that applies to both. It's like these two people really need to talk. Because I'm feeling, okay, so this could either be like an ex from your past that you're trying to manifest back, but this person might feel like you moved on. Like, I feel like maybe you guys are telepathically communicating, so you're not even aware of this. Like, maybe you're not aware that they feel like you've already moved on from them because you're feeling their energy so strongly, but it's like you're feeling their spirit. You might not necessarily be feeling their conscious self. Does that make sense? So a lot of you are trying to like manifest this text message or a call or some kind of communication, some kind of, it's like you've just been stuck in limbo. You're trying to manifest that next step and it just feels like it's like kind of stagnant. There's just, there's too much going on behind the scenes. This needs to, to be brought into the physical is what I'm feeling. Um, I feel like this could also be someone that you don't know very well, like someone that you're just kind of spying on, someone that you have feelings for, but you want them to pursue you. But I just feel like this person might be kind of oblivious. Like, I just feel like this person either feels like you moved on or they they don't know. They don't know that you have feelings or interest in them. Like, maybe you felt like you made it clear, but this person, maybe this person's insecure and they just didn't get it. 
so if this is you, I just feel that I'm getting so many energies here. It's really intense. Um, I had to pause for a little bit there and really look at this. I feel like if it is you, it's like the divine is intervening because I get like a blocked. So I primarily channel. So when I read these cards, I might read them differently from reading to reading. And in this case, I kind of feel like a block. I'm honestly feeling for some of you, this could be this really could be something positive for most of you. I mean, I don't feel like it's negative. I just feel like someone's been stuck in limbo, whether this is you or this is the, this person. Like I said, either it's you, you're trying to manifest this person, be it an ex or be it, an, be it you know, someone that you have a crush on. But it's, it's like this person, I just feel like, you know, doing things in the physical world is for this energy group. Again, only take this if it resonates. You know, full disclaimer, I am not responsible for what you do or do not do as a result of these readings. But it just feels like for this energy group, it's like, like if you are trying to manifest this person, it's almost like you're, like you miss them. It's like you want to love them and be with them, but you're like afraid to. It's like you're afraid to get hurt. So it's almost like you kind of have this like fantasy world where you, you try to manifest them and you connect to them through your dreams and through these emotions, but you're afraid to take that leap of faith in the physical world. And I think that your spirit guides are pushing you if that, you know, again, there's two stories here. So I'm going to get to the second one in, the, in a minute, because for some of you, this is actually someone trying to manifest you. So let me get into that in a, in a second. But for those of you where this is you and you're, you're trying to manifest this person, I feel like the divine is kind of saying no, because just because you've been in limbo for so long, I don't think they're necessarily saying that you can't have this person, but I think that they want you to step into your power and move forward because like I said, this could be, you might be trying to manifest someone back that you haven't talked to in a year or two years. And that's, that's a, that's just a difficult thing to do. I'm not saying it can't be done, but it's, it's really kind of hard because I mean, it's, it's just a long time. I feel like there needs to be a physical world conversation taking place here. And it feels like they kind of try to intervene here. But you get kind of like, you know, hesitant, mixed feelings, like afraid. It's like you're happy and you're hopeful, but you're also sad and you're afraid of getting hurt. Whether this is an ex or someone new, there's a strong anxiety and fear that I feel from this. And so it's like you start choosing your words and planning your approach because you do feel that nudge from your spirit guides that a conversation needs to take place. That, you know, you've been living in this this dreamland long enough. It's time to to have this real relationship with this person. It's time to either you know, move on from this person or move forward together. It's time for you to have answers. And, you know, I'm not saying that the answers are going to be what you want to hear. For some, you're going to get a really positive answer. Like, hey, wow, I never knew that you still had feelings for me. I actually feel the same way about you. For others, it's going to be a no-go. You know what I mean? There's, you know, everyone's story is different here. But but I just feel like it's time to to move things forward either way. And so I feel like your spirit guides give you this nudge, like, hey, like, you know, plan your approach, choose your words, say what you need to say, even just for closure. For some of you, it might just be like, you need that closure, like you need that justice. You know what I mean? This could even be like a group of people that wronged you. And, you know, you're trying to manifest this justice. And it's like, maybe you just need to speak your truth. I'm just getting such a strong energy of just needing to unblock your throat chakra here for this group and speak your truth. Because it's like, you're getting trapped in your head, you're getting lost in your thoughts. Um, Bear with me. I'm going to get to story two in just a minute for those of you that this is someone trying to manifest you. But it's like you're trapped in your head. You're lost in these thoughts. It's like you feel isolated, alone. So it's almost like it's almost like this person has become your unicorn. Do you guys know that phrase? Um, it's basically when someone's your unicorn, it's like they're your fantasy, your dream, your everything. And to be with them and lose them would just be so devastating that so many people just don't take that opportunity to be with their unicorn. They just, they dream about them. They fantasize. They, you know, write love letters to them that they'll never send. They imagine what life would be like with them, but they're too afraid to risk being rejected by someone they admire so deeply. And your spirit guides don't want to see you in that energy anymore. They don't want to see you, you know, some of you, maybe you screwed an ex over and you have a lot of guilt for just, just for a few of you, not for most of you, but for a few of you, I feel like some of you might have screwed an ex over and you have a lot of guilt for that. And you're like, oh, they would never forgive me. They would never, you need to know. They might not forgive you. I'm not saying that they will, but I feel like you need to know. It's not about them. It's for you. You know what I mean? Like you need closure or you need a new start with them. You just, you need out of this limbo state. You need out of, you need to, things need to move forward for you. You need to get yourself out of this stagnant energy. 
You know what I mean? It's not about what they'll say. It, they, they might tell you to F off. I'm not saying they won't. But you need that answer. You need that, you know what I mean? Like you need that closure. You need this breakthrough. And that breakthrough isn't, for this energy group, I feel like that breakthrough, unfortunately, is not going to come on its own. It's going to require action on your part to get that breakthrough. That's really what I'm feeling here. Because um, it's like some of you are just longing for this person. It's like you're spying, you're thinking about them. You're maybe checking up on them, asking friends about them. And it's just really time to move things forward. So let me get into story two. For others, I feel like this is someone trying to manifest you back. And, and the divine is pretty much saying no because they feel like this person cannot love you properly. So it's like this person's missing you a lot right now or they have been missing you a lot. But it just feels like one of those situations where it's like you guys don't really genuinely love each other. Does that make sense? Like I don't want to – that sounds harsh. It's like this person loved the idea of you. They love the past. They love the potential. But they don't understand that you've become a different person. They don't love you for who you are now. And it just feels like maybe like this person lost you and they prayed really hard to get you back. And some of you maybe went back with them. You know, it feels like this person either like did witchcraft or they just, you know, obsessed over you. Or they, you know, they just prayed to have you back. Um... They just really focused on manifesting, they really focused on manifesting you back and it could be money issues for someone too. But, um, I feel like the divine either said no or the divine, I feel like for most the divine just said no. <laughs> like, I feel like for most of you, like the divine just protected you. Like you might've been picking up on this person's energy recently and been like, what the hell? Like, like, no, I don't want this person back. And then you don't know why. And it's like the divine is just telling them no because they don't know how to love you properly. For some, I feel like they did get in like their intention. They're obsessing over you so hard that, you know, maybe they are coming. Maybe you, you guys did get back together for some, but I just feel like it's very short-lived if that's the case. Um, it's a really interesting energy here. Because it just – I'm getting – for, for those that it's like this person's trying to pa pa manifest you back, I get like an obsessive energy from this. Like I get almost like a, God, there's that movie Closer. Okay, so I hated that movie. I, I don't like that movie. It's not a good movie. I thought it was a sweet romantic movie. No, that movie is fucked up. So I'm not re recommending that movie. But it reminds me of the scene between Natalie Portman and Jude Law where it's like they're like he hits her. Like he's like abusive with her. He's, um... Got it. I'm sorry. I don't remember that movie well, so I'm sorry if I'm... Anyway, in the movie, though, it's like he breaks up with her and she's crying and she's saying, like, no, you can't you can't break up with me. Like, it's not supposed to go like this. I'm supposed to be the one that leaves you. And she, like, begs him to stay. And then the minute he's out of the room, he goes and makes some tea or something and she just leaves. You know, she wanted the power and control. It almost just feels like this, where it's like... It's not true love. It's just like this person, it's familiar or it's comfortable. You know, I feel like this Mercury retrograde energy is messing with a lot of people's heads too, where people are like missing the past and missing things that they normally wouldn't miss. So we're almost at a Mercury retrograde. Just, you know, don't make any hasty decisions regarding exes right now. All the planets are about to go direct in the near future, so just hold out for that at least. You know, don't make any hasty decisions during Mercury retrograde. That is the worst time to make decisions. But it just, yeah, it just, I just get that energy of like this like obsession almost where it's like this person wants you back, but it's like not because of true love. It's because you rejected them and it wasn't supposed to go like that. You know, they were supposed to reject you. If it, if you guys ever broke up, they were supposed to break up with you. I almost get like, I wouldn't say narcissistic energy, but almost like an energy of someone that just felt like they had complete control of the relationship and it messed with their head that they, they lost that control. Like they didn't ever expect you to leave. You know what I mean? But it just feels like obsession. Like it feels like this person's in a lot of pain over you. But like I said, it's not like genuine true love. It's more like you left them and so it messed with their head and they're missing that familiarity and that comfort. 
in their it's just it just it, just obsession is just what keeps coming to mind. It's it's like it feels like love, but it's more of an obsession, a familiarity, a comfort zone. It, it's like you guys outgrew each other, and this person doesn't want to admit that you guys outgrew each other. Is kind of what I'm feeling here, and I feel like you could be moving on too. You could be moving forward to to better people, to better just better situations. I feel like you've kind of ascended, like you're. You know, I'm getting that a lot for fire signs because I just got that for Leo as well in my Leo video. And it just feels like like you're manifesting money and love and new people and new friends and new everything. And, you know, I guess maybe this person doesn't have a lot going on for them. Like they just it's like they want to go back to the past. It's It's like a grass is always greener on the other side energy, though, because I feel like this person loved the idea of you and they loved the potential and they loved what you guys, they don't love who you are in the present moment, as harsh as that is. I hope that makes sense. It's like they love what you used to be or they love what you guys used to have together or what you guys could have had together. But they're, it's like they want to change you, honestly, is the energy I get, that they don't want you as you are. They want you to be someone else or they want you to go back to being someone that you used to be and you're not that person anymore. And, you know, it, you're trying to fit into this little shell that doesn't fit you anymore. You've outgrown it. You've outgrown this person. So, so yeah, for most of you, I feel like the divine is just saying no to this person. So if you are feeling like an ex's energy and you're like, what the hell is going on? Um, you know, because you're just thinking about them out of nowhere. It's like this person is longing for you. They are nostalgic. They are missing you. They feel alone right now. They probably don't have a lot of support in their life. So they're missing, you know, they, they just, you might get a drunken call or drunken text or something. You know, because they feel blocked. They feel trapped. They they need to cut. This cord needs to be cut. It feels like. It feels like a lot of them are spying on you too. And like I said, for some of you, you know, you might get back with this person. For most, I feel like the divine is just intervening and saying no, because they know that this person cannot love you properly. This person is afraid. This person is overthinking things. This person is just feeling alone right now. They just don't want to be by themselves. They just want things to go back to how they used to be. They want to go back to their comfort zone. They're feeling nostalgic, especially because of Mercury retrograde. Like, this retrograde has been rough, you know? Um, but like I said, for most of you, I feel like your spirit guides are just going to tell this person no. Like, they're going to just block. They're going to try to block this person from you because they know that you've outgrown them and that you need someone that's more on your level and that's going to love you for the right reasons. Um, but for some, I feel like, yeah, you might give this another chance, but I just feel like, like the puzzle, the, the puzzle pieces just don't fit anymore. It's just, it's not going to, you know, it's like you might try to make it work and I just feel like it's, it's not going to resonate with you or with them anymore. I feel a lot of arguments too, honestly. Um, because I feel like they're going to try to get you to be a certain way. That's coming through so strongly. It's like there's something about you. Like I don't know if maybe some of you are into witchcraft. And like maybe you weren't into witchcraft before and now you are. And this person doesn't like that. Or like you're into um, like you've just changed. It could be like religious or political beliefs even. But I also just feel like as a person like you're you're just – you're more confident, you're more, you're becoming more secure, you're more adventurous, you're more open to life, like things are changing for you. And it's it's sad that this person wouldn't be happy for you. But it's like, no, they want you to go back to how you used to be, or they want things to go back to how they used to be. I feel like you could be standing up to this person more too. And they don't like that they can't gaslight you anymore. They don't like that they can't manipulate you anymore, that they can't, you know, some of them like to like cry. I'm getting like for some I'm seeing a girl and like, it looks like a fucking little house in the prairie dress. Like, what the hell is that? <laughs> like Laura Angle or something. Is that her name? I don't know why I'm seeing that. But I'm seeing like, almost like a goody two shoes energy. And I'm seeing her like crying and it just feels like maybe like she used to, for, for like my male viewers, maybe, um, Maybe this woman used to like manipulate or, or, or lesbian viewers either way. Um, but maybe this woman used to like manipulate you through, through tears. Like she used to throw temper tantrums or cry and that doesn't work on you anymore because you're more confident. You're more balanced. You're guarding your energy more. 
And so it's like, she doesn't like that. She wants things to go back to, it's like maybe she had like a way, he or she had a way that they manipulated you and that doesn't work on you anymore. You've outgrown that. Um, God, it's such an interesting energy here. But yeah, I just feel like either your spirit guides are just going to, if you're feeling this person's energy, this is why. They're alone. They miss you. They don't like that you left them first. Um, they want things to just go back. They didn't, they don't want to grow. It's like this person, it's like you are powerful and confident and you're, you're one of those people that wants more out of life. Like you want to grow. You want to travel. You want to experience the world. You want new relationships, new friendships. You know what I mean? Like you're just, you're, you're open-minded. I get a very closed minded energy from this ex. It just feels like someone who's like my way or the highway, like just very closed minded, very, um, for some, I get like a more, um, like, like they, they have certain goals, but it's like, they don't want anything outside of that. Like they, it's like, like the kind of energy of like someone that doesn't ever want to leave their hometown. Like someone that doesn't want to see new things, someone that doesn't want to meet new people, someone that doesn't want to try new foods or have new experiences, someone that just wants things just the way that they're used to all the time. It just, you know, the nine to five job and the, the marriage and kids and the white picket fence and they're good. You know what I mean? It just feels like that kind of energy where it's like someone that's just very, you know, male or female. It just feels like someone that just is very closed minded and just likes things to be their way. And I just feel like, like I said, I just feel like you outgrew this person. You're, you're open minded. So I just feel like. I just feel like protect yourself. You know what I mean? Like if you're feeling this person's energy, maybe cut the cords. Because this person is obsessed with you. This person is probably spying on you. They are probably asking mutual friends about you. They are, they're feeling isolated and alone. And remember, if they try to come back around, like, and you'll know if this is for you. You know what I mean? Like, if you have someone genuine come back around, then yeah, give it another chance. But but if this is your story to a T, like you're resonating with all of this and you intuitively are, you know, use your own intuitive guidance too and you just know this is your story, I just feel like they're coming back around for the wrong reasons. Like I said, they didn't like that you rejected them. They didn't like that they lost the control. They, you know, absence makes the heart grow fonder kind of energy. The grass is always greener on the other side. It's like they're just wanting what they can't have. And they, they're they feeling alone. They're feeling like they don't have support. So they're wanting to go back to you. But I just want you guys to understand that if you do take that, if this is your story to a T and you, if you do take this person back, you guys aren't going to grow together. Like, this isn't going to be a situation where you guys grow to, you know what I mean? Like, this person might present it that way at first. And we're like, oh, yeah, I'm open to trying this or I'm open to, yeah, let's travel. Sure. Like, this person, like, never wanted to travel with you. Let's say that you wanted to go to, you know, Spain or something or Ireland or whatever. And, like, this person is always like, oh, God, I don't want to be, I don't want to go on a boat or a plane. Oh, God, I don't want to meet new people. I don't want to be away from the house that long or whatever. And this person is trying to get you back now. So they're like, oh, I'm totally down to, to travel with you now. I've opened, you know, my, I've changed. I, I, you know, I don't know why I didn't realize that traveling would be fun. It's, it's bullshit. They don't want to travel. They might force themselves to, to make you happy for a little bit. But that honeymoon phase is not going to last. Um, so I just really want you guys to understand that if you do the, give this person a chance, because it's just, it's coming through so strongly that you guys are going to be on two different pages. They're going to be coming in, trying to get you to go back to, to being gaslit, being manipulated to how things used to be, to the goals you guys used to have. It's like you changed your goals and they don't like that. Cause maybe you guys used to have the same goals and then you changed your goals and they're like, what the hell? No, like, let's get back to this. Let's get back to what we we're doing before, you know? Um, and so I just feel like, you know, you need to, you really need to understand that if you give this another chance that you guys are going to be on two separate pages, you're going to be trying to grow with them as a couple. You're going to be trying to move forward and try new things and have these new adventures. And they're going to be fighting you and trying to get you to go back to how things used to be. They're going to try to, you've outgrown your comfort zone and they're going to try to force you back into that comfort zone. And it's, it's not going to go well. Okay, I honestly feel like this is going to be a lot of, there's going to be a lot of arguments. There's going to be compromises at times. Like, I feel like especially because this person feels so alone and so nostalgic and in their head, especially with the Mercury retrograde energy, they're going to say what they need to say. So they might present themselves, like at first they might be like, oh yeah, I'm willing to try this or try that. I'm willing to travel. Let's do it. But, you know, 
if you tune into their energy, you're going to see pretty early on that it's, it's going to be the same crap as before. Um, and I, I honestly feel a lot of arguments. I feel like you're just two different people now. And they're not, they're, this person isn't the type that's willing to step out of their comfort zone and grow and change. And so, you know, you guys are just going to, I just, I just sense arguments. I just feel like, I just feel like you're going to be trying to get them to be someone they're not. And they're going to be trying to be get trying to get you to be someone that you're not anymore. You know, it's like, it's just not, it's just, I don't, I don't feel like it's going to be worth it, honestly. But, um, but yeah, for most of you, might not, you might not even hear from this person because the, the divine might just simply step in and be like, nope, don't even, don't interrupt this person's life when you know that you're scared and that you're trying to change them and trying to get them to go back to how they used to be. Don't even interrupt this person's life. Like this person, you know, the divine, your spirit guides might just straight up block this person from even messaging you. But for some, you need to cut the cords. You need to take this blindfold off and cut these cords. Um, anyway, if you want a private reading, just email me. My email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. That is right below in the description box below this video. And um, yeah, any donations are appreciated. Thank you guys for watching. And please like, share, subscribe, comment.